Welcome. Thanks for uh, coming checking out my video. What I want to do is show you how to, one, complete the square, find uh, our vertex, and also find the uh, x-intercepts. We're actually don't, not going to complete the square on this one. But what I want to do is I want to go through the process of what I do when I'm given a quadratic, how I'm going to find the x-intercepts and also find the vertex. So the important thing for us to remember is a quadratic, the definition of a quadratic is in this form. It's a second degree polynomial. The next thing we also want to understand is here is the standard form of a quadratic. And it's important to recognize the standard form of a quadratic because when we understand that h and k are going to provide us with the vertex. So if we can take a quadratic in this form and put it in this form, it's easy, very easy for us to be able to find the vertex. When the problem sometimes is putting it in that second form. Well, for this one, the first thing you want to do is make sure we put it in quadratic form. So here what I have is h of x equals negative x squared plus 25. Now there is no linear, uh, there is no linear term, so I could put insert a 0 times x, but I don't have to. If I wanted to, I could do 0 times x and then could try to complete the square. But you don't need to right here. All you look at this and say, all right, from here, so now it's in my quadratic form as best I could. Then the next thing I need to do is I need to rewrite this. Can I rewrite my x minus h squared? Can I rewrite it to look like this form? And yes, if you take a look at it, if I write h of x equals negative x minus 0 squared plus 25. And what you'll notice is, sorry, it's going to happen. So I have x minus 0 squared um, because x minus 0 obviously is x. So that gives us it in this format. So now, remember, the vertex is equal to h comma k. So it's going to be the opposite sign from what's in my equation to actually my vertex point. But here, opposite of 0 is not going to count. So you have your vertex is equal to 0 comma 25. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to find the rest of the x-intercepts. So one thing I would just want to make sure you guys understand is if I was going to graph this, remember the point where my graph crosses the x-axis, my value of y is equal to 0. So what I'm going to do, and remember this could also actually for this graph, <coughs> it's going to be h of x, right? So h of x equals 0. So now what I can do is I can plug in h of x equals 0, so I can write 0 in for h of x negative x minus 0 squared plus 25. So now what I do is I just need to, now I just need to isolate my variable. So I'm going to subtract 25. Negative 25 equals negative x minus 0 squared. Now divide by negative 1. 25 equals x, I'm going to kind of stick it right in x minus 0. x minus 0 is x. So therefore, I get x squared. Now, to undo my square root, I'll, or undo my square, I'm going to square root it. Therefore, I'm left with x equals plus or minus 5, right? Because remember, the square root, two numbers that multiply to give you 25, could be 5 times 5. It could also be negative 5 times negative 5. So make sure always, when you include the square root, to take the plus and the minus. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope it helped.